basement waterproofing has been around since basements have been constructed below ground level and sometimes even below the water table, the basement waterproofing design features are critical as they are therefore often subject to groundwater hydrostatic pressure. Even when a building is exposed just to climatic rainfall the walls of the substructure experience varying levels of hydrostatic pressure. If there is a failure in waterproofing membrane what happens? Hydrostatic pressure caused by this water will result in the water penetrating the waterproofing membrane and eventually into your basement structure. Basement waterproofing for new concrete based construction, the waterproofing is usually on the outside of the building structure and this often referred to as external waterproofing. This is on the water side of the structure and is designed to stop water penetration of the structure. In new construction access to the walls is usually reasonably easy as foundations, footings are still exposed. Basement waterproofing on the water side will always give you the best results. Cementitious basement waterproofing products are among the easiest, if not the easiest, waterproofing materials to use. All that is needed is for your wall to be clean, efflorescence free, and damp. The Drizoro products come to you as a pre-mixed powder, add the prescribed amount of water read instructions on bag, watch how to video links, and apply using stiff brush or max brush, long handled broom, brush there readily available from our online waterproofing shop easier. Advantages of the dry Zorro cementitious coatings and membrane systems, is that any small imperfections in the applications will not lead to long-term deterioration and delamination, which in turn has often resulted in membrane failure, especially with many other waterproofing membrane systems, leading to the total collapse of the waterproof membrane and resultant water penetration into the building. Small imperfections in most cases, using dry Zorro waterproofing products will self-heal. The adhesion of dry Zorro cementitious products works by becoming part of the crystalline matrix of the cement wall. The membrane coating will not become delaminated. Failure of other systems lead to a complete collapse of the wall. We recommend that to prevent damage to wall when backfilling you use protection board basement waterproofing, remedial repairs to basement waterproofing to external walls and floors as footings walls are usually buried making basement waterproofing repairs, usually, much more expensive. The main reason is that the area, which requires rectification and restoration may not be able to readily identify it, as the external failure of the below ground waterproofing systems may not be exactly where the wet problem is showing on the internal wall of your basement. The next important reason is that to reach any point of failure will require excavation at the very least and it may not be a practical solution or even impossible to reach areas required. Internal cementitious basement waterproofing, water has penetrated the wall, floor and is entering your room, car park causing damage to building structure and needs to be stopped. Avoids major works, all that is needed to commence the internal basement waterproofing is a clean, efflorescence free, damp wall. Should the wall be below the water table and subject to continuous hydrostatic water pressure then it will be necessary to allow all water to be drained from face of the areas to be waterproofed. Select the Maxil product that is most suitable and, and apply it to the concrete, block, masonry surface. Then use Drizoro Max Plug to seal drainage holes and coat them with dry Zorro Maxil Flex. Cementitious internal waterproofing increases the longevity of the building structure as it stops water flow through the wall, floor, or podium slab reducing erosion of the concrete, chemical destruction of the structural strength of the concrete. Preventing resultant creation of acidic conditions in the concrete which in turn will cause rusting of all steel reinforcement steel expands up to eight times its original size and eventual destruction of your reinforced concrete or masonry block walls.